How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Sim 2021 video. I know it's been about a week since my last post. I'm so sorry about that. I've been super busy with uh, classes starting back up again, but I'm gonna get this episode rolling. If you guys remember in the last one, I did finish, pur finish purchasing every single tool and garage expansion part that I need. It was probably what, 100K? Yeah, probably 100k in total is what it cost me to get all that um and i'm back to 72,000. i just did a couple missions or not missions actually i went to the junkyard about four times bought some crap cars brought them back repaired the body only cleaned them up repainted them sold them i did that to six cars just now uh to me about 30 minutes so pretty good money maker i think i made about fifty thousand dollars doing that so pretty happy uh but today guys we are going to be doing a barn find and i have what looks like seven barn finds to do just checking through here to make sure Oop, I can sell that checking through here to see if I have anything else but nope all right so let's just run into a barn find I have not done a barn find since the very first time I think I've ever bought anything from a barn find so I'm super excited about that I think I've only bought stuff from junkyards hopefully none of this is like too crazy expensive but looks like we got a Nissan a Salem. Oh, oh, this barn is cool. A Supra. Or a, a Sakura is what they call this. Yeah, Sakura. Uh, 42,000. That's not too bad. Um, let me go through here really quick. If you guys don't know, I've said this a bunch, but if you go through your barn finds, you guys are playing this game, if you go through the junk piles, I think, I think I've always, yeah, I would, I'd, I'd bet some money that guaranteed a case in every single barn at least one there it is all right so sakura how much is this 350 yeah 350z 18k i can make a drift missile out of this bad boy it looks like it's got almost all of its parts missing drive shaft exhaust pipes and front right wheel and a couple other things let me get off that there we go and the same spectra fastback i just bought one of these for way cheaper at the junkyard actually and i'd probably argue that they were pretty similar quality in the end i don't really need to be checking back here actually so i think da -da -da, i'm just peeking around i think i'll pick up the 350. yeah this is like a uh, textbook uh, rip off of the 350z i think there's the 370 and the gtr r35 in this game too so it's weird that they have it but this is a nissan uh 350z v6 oil burner and then there's the supra okay yeah i'll pick this up the flashlight off all right i'm gonna pick this up take it to the car wash wash it off and see you guys back in the garage also i'm picking this up for 40 or 18 000 so pretty dang cheap um in the end of it this might be one of the ones that i actually start keeping so it'll be pretty cool so i'll see you guys back at the garage with a clean car and uh, back to the garage so this is actually this actually looks pretty uh incredible honestly looking at it weird that this mirror is a little different color but it's actually in pretty good overall shape i can check what the body is really quick here sorry Frames 84 and body is 70. So pretty decent overall parts. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Quality. Jeez, quality. Yeah. And I think this will probably be the first time, guys. I do go with a full... Uh, I am going to try, I should say. I don't know exactly how much the price is going to differ, but I'm going to try and go with a full modded motor and performance parts where I can. Pretty sure. All right, let's start off by popping off these tires. Thing was on blocks for quite a while, so this is no big deal. Nothing different for it. Let me hop to this front one. And I do plan on fixing this entire car, guys, so it is spotless, mint condition, perfect all around. go and let's get this up in the air now 
We're gonna pop the motor out. I don't think there's any engine bay components I need to remove beforehand. Let's see here. I highly doubt this thing even has any, actually, I guess this isn't a junkyard car, so it could definitely have some coolant and stuff in it. So I'll probably drain it beforehand. Okay, you'll take the gearbox. Uh, let's drain this. Okay, it had literally like a squirt's worth of oil in it, which is uh, pretty, pretty funny. Oop. Jump back down. Let me go grab, wait. Engine crane's over here, okay. I always keep going to the other room because that's where I usually spend most of the time. Alrighty. Let me go to... Oh! It's got no coolant. Uh, reservoir. So, it shouldn't have any in it. Alrighty. Give me that motor. You can go back to where you are. Hmm. Yeah, everything's in a pretty rough shape overall. Like, what's this say? 14%? Yeah, so that means a majority of these parts, these suspension parts, for instance, are on average 14%. Not ideal, and it's also missing a ton of parts, so that does not help uh, one ounce either. Let's add on our V6 double overhead cam Nissan. NSN is what I'm assuming it stands for Nissan. Um, oh, really? True. Let me let me check and see if I can swap motors. Uh, da, da, da. No swap options. Dang it. But this does make 285. Oh, wait. 314 stock. Pretty decent, actually. Dang. So since that's the case, I was just going to take this motor off the stand, put it in, uh, put it in the warehouse and let it sit for a bit. But since I actually am going to be using this motor, I'll use probably over half these parts. Um, by the time I'm done with it. So I'll probably just strip this one down and then find the performance parts I need uh, from there. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to go through, do a full teardown and repair of what I can, guys. I'll see you back here with a blank engine block and we will start through the modding process. Um, it'll probably be a little bit lengthier one because I have never done one on 2021 car, car mechanic yet. So bear with me there, but I'll see you guys back here with a pulled apart motor and a blank block alrighty I think I have got pretty much everything bought uh needless to say this motor is an absolute pain in the neck to take apart hopefully I have everything um this probably has the most bolts I've ever seen in a motor between car mechanic sim 8 or 15 uh 18 and this one it was pretty crazy honestly i was just shocked the front end had probably 30 40 alone top end had another 30 40 it was a lot it was a lot but it's not too bad now so i've got a majority of oh also and over half those bolts were stuck that was the problem um but now i have a majority of what i think think is the performance parts that are needed for this motor uh as i go through if i find a part that i don't have or if i see a part that i think i could get a performance part for i will go back and double check it just in case uh but trust me i have done a generally my due diligence to find everything why is this being weird why is it not letting me put my uh not letting me put the uh oil pan on okay i'll just go to the top side then oh dang it no no pull back all right let's go here flywheel i know that there usually is flywheels and clutch plates um it's the traditional a lot of the stuff is the red stuff the red and like the chromey stainless steel well, not stainless steel but the with the chromey look that's definitely how you can tell majority of these parts are performance parts let me remove that so that's what I was talking about. There's some stuff that I'm still missing. I tried to get a majority of it, but probably didn't get everything I needed. I think I got engine heads, which are 3% each. 
Um, I also repaired everything I could repair, so I'll take all those extra parts and sell them later. Uh, extra parts, that is. So I'm probably going to be using a good majority of those in this again. Oh, there's something I probably need was the fuel filter. Saw that pop up. So six in each head, and then I'll show you here. Got the camshafts, which there were no camshaft uh, performance parts, sadly. I did get spark plugs. So now each camshaft has camshaft caps. And then the rocker arms also have the caps on them, which I did not get yet. Uh, camshaft cap V6. Uh, okay, I'll just go buy that really quick. Cap V6. Camshaft. Look for that crazy looking number. Right here. Um, I think there were five on each side, so I'm gonna buy ten. Looks like it was four. That's fine. Not too big of a deal. And if you guys didn't see, I did try and look for a engine swap earlier. Sadly, uh, this car does not offer any turbo, um, which is fine and not too big of a deal. Obviously, I would have liked to get a turbo on it, but not too big of a deal. Yeah, definitely having no rusted on parts is a blessing. All right, we got our chrome exhaust manifolds. Mission coils. These are going to be all red as per usual. And then also, shockingly, I was not able to find an intake manifold that was performance based. But I did buy another one just in case. And you got fuel rails, which, yep, these are definitely performance. Usually anything fuel related, fuel and spark, usually can get it. I did get a throttle, I think. So I'm a spark plug short. Let's just go in here. There are 10 pages of performance parts, which pretty good, but not a lot for the amount of cars. Um... Manifolds. Let's see here, so I can scan this quick enough. Ah, uh, V6. This one. Yep, four percent. That's pretty good. It's crazy that the manifold itself gives you more than the head. I figured the head would have quite a bit more to it, but apparently not. All right, get our large cap on. And the more and more I do these cars and work on them like it was in Car Mechanic 2018, uh, I'll be get way faster. I'll learn the parts that are needed. Like, I mean, even now, if you could hand me a V8 motor and in this game and I could tell you probably down to one or two parts um, short what you need exactly to do the entire motor. All right, toss this on. This is definitely going a lot faster than the disassembly though, which is super nice. Okay. Then I'm gonna go check for a fuel filter really quick. Give me the pump, give me the filter. Put this top manifold on. I did buy two, sadly. And then two throttles, 1% extra horsepower each. And then guys, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'm gonna check and see what the most voted on the color is. Um, if you see someone posting your color, like the comment and whichever one or has the most posts or likes, I will paint the color of this Nissan. I'm not sure what color, but I do have the full color range unlocked in the game. So just, just say one, you say red, blue, pink purple maroon white black gray uh light gray dark gray i mean tell me whatever you want if you if everyone just votes on blue then i'll find a blue color that's pretty close all right cam gear b and cam gear a 
Um, definitely not in here. M gear V6. Two, two. When I put on the timing cover, you'll see exactly how many screws there are. There's quite a bit. Okay, there's this one, this one, two of those, one of those. Get this chain on, and then the big one. Get these two shoes in. I'm pretty curious to see how much this is gonna, this money or this car would bring in uh, in the end. Cause I did buy it for 12,000. Look at that amount of screws. That's crazy. It's like 13 or 14. Um, but I did buy this for $12,000. So 12,000 plus probably 50,000 in parts. So maybe it'll be worth like 70,000 at the end. Um, and honestly, that's being kind of generous. A lot of the story mode cars um, aren't really worth a whole lot, which is a bummer. Or not story mode, a lot of the non-mod cars are, are not worth quite that, like as much. It's just, just the way it is. I still need to find a Ferrari, because I do have a Ferrari in the game. Okay, I the roller. Is that a dipstick? What is that? Oh, that's the oil pan. So I guess I do have to have the entire front done before they let me do the oil pan. I did get a performance pump. Save the pan, awesome. Here's some long screws. So we'll get this put into the engine bay, get it uh, locked up. I have an extra V8. Okay, so we'll get uh, oil V8. Get get this. Get the crankshaft, and I think it's a V8 crankshaft. Yep. This, and I don't think I was able to repair this belt. Nah, okay. Do serpentine belt V6. Ah. Uh, it's the VQ37. Do I have a tensioner? I don't. A wrenchener. I'm gonna buy five of these. I'm not to the point yet where I have like crazy backstocks of like generic parts like rollers, tensioners, spark plugs, and whatnot. Um, but I am getting there slowly. And there we go, guys. There is the finished motor. I wonder, can I see anything special about it? Hmm, create a new, I can't, okay. Well, let's get the engine bay ready, actually, before I put this in. Give me this pump. Uh, gonna dump all these relays. This thing has so many. I mean, I guess this is a decent way to farm some experience. All right, go over here, get this air filter cover off. There's a radiator out here. You better not charge me for coolant. Cover's gone. Air filter's gone. Uh, let's see, what, what what do we need though? We need power steering and coolant. Uh, power steering, windshield, coolant B, and I think we did not have a brake servo. We did not, okay. We'll get all these slid into place real quick. A washer. I have an extra battery. I don't. All right, we'll also pick up a battery. Um, there we go. All right, call that good. Oh, lost my escape key. There we go. 
go into here and repair a couple of these parts that we just pulled out. I can get a performance air filter also while I'm in here. I can pick up an ABS module. I don't think I have an extra one of those. I uh, used all my extras. Oh, I failed the clip. I will avenge you. So I need to pick up a clip and an air filter. And boom. Still three, wow, that was expensive. Four or five repairs, jeez. Easy, okay. So now, going to here, tuning, air filter purchase, parts, clip. And then, use. Use box cover, oh, cover. A, let me pick up a few more fuses because I'm pretty sure we're going to use all these. I also do need to unlock, oh, wrong way. I do need to unlock discounts because discounts will definitely save me quite a bit of money. But I need to continue doing main missions for that. Did I repair that radiator? I did, let's go. Uh, I still need a fan housing. Uh, radiator fan housing. Let's see, fan housing and number one fan housing. Okay, where is that fuse box? There she is. Let's see how many fuses we need to populate. Okay, I might have went a little overboard on some of these. So I wasn't missing any. Okay. Oh, we need an ECU. I've not put an ECU in a car yet. Okay, that's pretty cool. Get type A. Then let me get my ABS module. All right. Get that pump in. Get our module in. All right, I think we are ready to install our motor. Okay, awesome. Right, so if there's anything else we need to really install in this general area, I don't believe so. Um, let me get some oil put in here really quick and then I think we'll be good. Also, I'm gonna open up the case before we end the video. The case I pulled from the junkyard where I bought this car. All right. The Current price of this car as it stands is currently at 42,000. We bought it for 12,000 um, profit of 23,000 parts value was definitely shot quite up pretty quickly. Uh, we still need to redo the body. So in the next video guys, we will redo the body suspension and get everything hooked up, do testing, um, maybe take it out on the strip, uh, run it around on a skid pad or whatever. Uh, but before that, let's open the last case I just got. Okay. And barn location and experience. That's perfect. Those are the two things I probably want the most right now because I'm not going to get much in the way of money. It's going to be like a thousand credits or something like that, which isn't really worth it. So the experience is really, really helpful. And the barn locations are, of course, very, very helpful. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, a comment down below. Let me know again what you guys want to see for the color. Leave it, that in the comments down below. Uh, I don't really know what color I'm leaning towards. So let me know and I will choose the most voted on one and the most posted one. Um, and subscribe if you guys have subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Sim 2021 video.